working conditions. Please read the description of working conditions at the top of the page. Question E1 has a list of environments and working conditions. As you select the ones you, that you feel are relevant to your position, a box will appear in the table below for you to fill in. Please include examples in each category. Again, it's fine to include multiple examples if they represent different tasks of different natures. But please try to choose relevant and descriptive examples that are not too long. Meaningful information is more important than volume, quality over quantity. Indicate the frequency and number of months each condition is encountered in the last two columns for each condition. Please note that working conditions are inherently associated with the job. They are not conditions that you personally find unpleasant or difficult to deal with. For example, working in an office with sick co-workers is not considered inherent to the position because if the position was moved to a different building or the co-workers got better, this would no longer be an issue. However, exposure to allergens because you work with rats on a daily basis is inherent to the working condition. Question E2 has a list of health and safety risks. As you select the ones that you feel are relevant to your position, a box will appear in the table below for you to fill in. Please include examples in each category. It's fine to include multiple examples if they represent different tasks of different natures, but again, please try to choose relevant and descriptive examples that are not too long. Meaningful information is more important than volume. And again, quality over quantity. Finally, indicate the likeliness of injury in the last column. Click next page when you're ready to proceed.